Business leaders in New South Wales and Victoria are lobbying both state governments to drop coronavirus isolation rules for household contacts. Julia Bradley's got this story for us live from Melbourne this morning. Julia, what impact is this having? Well, Pete, this seven-day isolation requirement for household contacts of a positive COVID case is not only creating staff shortages but also supply issues for a number of businesses, including businesses in the hospitality sector. And this is why top executives across New South Wales and Victoria are joining forces to call for the measure to be scrapped. That includes the Victorian Chamber of Commerce and Industry head, Paul Guerra, as well as Business New South Wales head Daniel Hunter. They say that this measure is a handbrake for business and instead they want it replaced with the requirement to do daily rapid antigen tests. As long as a worker returns a negative result on one of those rapid tests, then they should be able to go about their business as normal. We heard from Daniel Hunter on Sky News this morning. We just want some consistency here. Um, we think healthy people should be able to go to work. And one thing this pandemic has shown us is that we need to revisit these rules and remain agile all the time. And we think that it is now time for New South Wales and Victoria to move as one, to lead the nation as we, we have a lot in the a number of other business owners have also joined these calls, including prominent Melbourne restaurant owner Chris Lucas. He says that, in fact, all COVID restrictions should be scrapped, particularly for the hospitality sector, so that these businesses can bounce back quicker. Pete, last week, Victoria's Premier Daniel Andrews foreshadowed that there could be some changes to COVID rules in Victoria as soon as the peak of the Omicron wave passes. He has foreshadowed that we could see an end to the vaccinated economy as well as mask mandates, but we'll have to wait and see. Julia Bradley, thanks.